All right, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna be watching Ted 2. Now, we did the first one last week and it was absolutely hilarious. It was extremely out of pocket. So now I'm wondering how like bad is the first one gonna be too compared to the first, you know? Cause you know, the first one was very successful. So maybe they just like, they just doubled down like all the jokes. So I'm expecting this movie to be insanely out of pocket, but I'm gonna stop wasting time. We're just gonna hop right into this movie. If you'd like to watch the full length reaction, that'll be available on Patreon as well as early access to the next two comedy movies that I do will also be available on Patreon or YouTube membership. So click the join button down below. But anyways, let's get started. Your lawfully wedded husband. And do you, Ted? Oh, and you have Flash Gordon as the pastor. Let's go. All right. I wonder what the conflict in this movie is going to be, though. I, I didn't mention it in the intro, but like, but the last movie ended with John, Laurie, and Ted as a big happy family. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how creative they, they got for the second movie. No, I'm fine. I was just thinking about Laurie. Oh, wait, they break up? It's been six months since you guys got divorced. Wow. I know. I know. It's just that you know, everything seemed like it was going to be so perfect. Yeah, well, you're not the first guy yeah. to marry the wrong girl. Happens, man. Tammy Lynn would kill me if I did drugs on our wedding day. I just did a line with a dude in the men's room, and I bet you can't even spot him. <laughs> hey, I'm starving. What the hell are you doing over there? Why is he wearing a white beater? Fucking steak. What do you think I'm doing? What, what do I think you do? I think you're bleeding us dry, is what I think oh, you're God. doing. Look at this. Look at this. $129. Toxic, toxic marriage. What the f did you just call me? What did you oh. say? Hey, what the f Teddy, I'm really scared of you, you little f bear. Shut the f up. Oh, Christ. <laughs> <laughs> They're getting pretty heated there. Came back five minutes later, she was looking at black. It seems like every time you go online, you're two clicks away from black. See? I Google Grand Canyon. Here, look, it says, Did you mean black? What? <laughs> Hey. Wait, what the Hello. <laughs> I'd uh, like to ask a few questions about this breakfast cereal. Sure. I, uh, yeah, yeah, box of tricks. I've been led to understand that tricks are exclusively for children. For kids. Is that correct? Well, no, I, I mean, they but... say uh, tricks are for kids in the commercials. Uh -huh. but... And is that enforced by law? No, no. Uh, not to my knowledge, no. What? Just these tricks. <laughs> There'll be no trouble. No. No, no you, you, sh you should be fine. You do understand that I myself am not a child. I, I yeah, was able fine. to sniff that out, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna bring these back to my apartment. I, yeah, yeah, you'll, you'll be okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, uh, Green flag, buddy. Go I won't be followed. No. Uh, no, that's that's not in our budget here. I won't forget what you've done for me here today. Oh, I would okay. prefer that you do. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna come back later. <laughs> Some weird, something weird's gonna happen because of this later, but. I feel like he was like mocking a character he's played before, like his character from Taken, maybe some something like that. But that was the, that was the most random cameo. I've... Marriage and make it work again. Well, I tell you one way: you have yourselves a baby. Mm. A baby? How would that even work? You see them two white <laughs> over there? Ted it twice. Is that an actual phrase or is it? I'm telling you, Ted, y'all better have a baby or your marriage is over. Trust. I feel like that just makes things worse between Ted and Tammy Lynn. But how would they have a baby? Like, how to change? You know, because I can't do this no more. I want to have a baby. You do? Yeah. Mm. See, I think if we got a kid to love, it'll teach us how to love each other again. Kick so much ass at mom and. So what do you say? We all good? Yes! But you both work at the grocery store. Can you, you can't even afford to support a kid. I got some big news to tell you. Oh yeah, what's that? Tammy Lynn and I, are gonna have a baby. You? Yeah, yeah, we talked about it today. Wait, I feel wait, like you I, should I, talk I, about I, more I, than like guys, once. I, well, wait, yeah, yeah, that's the thing. We we uh we gotta find oh, a sperm donor. They want oh they want to use John's sperm, huh? Do you want uh, Flash Gordon to father your child? Yeah, I mean do you th That'd be pretty sick actually. I don't think I don't think he'll do it. I can never get a signal in your apartment. Hey, can I use your laptop? Yeah, go ahead. So like Sam Jones is gonna say no, and then John's probably gonna end up doing it. What the fuck? Holy what? shit, dude, what's the matter? Wide open. There are literally thousands of files here. Well, I've been meaning to clear some of that up. Clockwise rim job, counterclockwise rim job. Yeah, well, sometimes you like seeing the tongue go the other way. You sick bastard. Look at this. So specific. So what do you say? You'd, you'd really be helping me and Tammy out. No can't do, my brother. Oh, look, I did a lot of blow in the 80s, and uh -huh. my sperm count's a little low. Well, how low? One. Oh. One? 
Yeah, that little fella's having his own I am legend in my <laughs> nutsack. What are you doing with it? Are you, what are you saving it for? I need it for protein if I ever get lost at sea. Oh Come on, guys. God. I mean, that was really selfish of him. I... God damn it! <laughs> God. Ted. Close to Flash Gordon's. Ted, it's insane. We could get in a lot of trouble. We sneak into his house, jerk him off in his sleep, and sneak <laughs> out with a sperm. No, that's not. That's never gonna work. Oh, okay. uh, it's Tom Brady. <laughs> hey, um, are you, uh, Tom Brady? Yeah. Um, I just may need a signature in case I gotta get some pots for the Billy. You can just, uh, write that to, uh, John and Ted with number 12. And you, you're not here. <laughs> I mean, I think the balls are perfect. It's wrong back. All right. Uh, the flight gate. Okay, I'm not even a Patriots fan, but, like, I don't even think it matters if they did, even if they did underinflate the balls. Bro, they still won the game, like, 45 to 10. It was only in like one half of the game, so it's like, doesn't even matter. It's just a principle, I guess. Take the damn raincoat off. It's making too much noise. Piss off. I don't want to get any jizz on me. <laughs> Wait, where's Giselle at? Why? Where's his wife? Wife. League MVPs. Four <laughs> Super Bowl rings. Hey. Guaranteed first ballot Hall of Famer. <laughs> hey, as of right now, four MVPs. Seven. Seven Super <laughs> As of right now. That's crazy. There's got to be a human hand. It's got to be skin on skin. Otherwise, it doesn't work. <laughs> Who does this? It's just friction. Look, I've never done this before. Well, neither have I. You do it to yourself? Yeah, but it's different. You're an adult with a poster of this. Bro, Ted, you're telling me you don't want to jerk off Tom Brady? Technically, though, I don't know if Tom Brady's sperm would be the best if you want the best genetics possible because he's not an insanely gifted athlete or anything. Even though he's an insanely successful pro athlete, he didn't win because he's super physically talented. He just won through pure ruthless execution and he just didn't make mistakes. He rarely made mistakes. He's like a supercomputer playing quarterback. What the hell? Mr. Brady, we just need to make oh, 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 Brady, take your goddamn teddy bear with you. Oh, 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 holy shit, perfect spiral. Yeah. Come on, let's get out of here. I, okay, I mentioned that I've seen this clip already in the last Ted movie in the intro, because I thought it was in that movie, but no. Hey, Ted, let me ask you something. Why don't you just come to me? Yeah. What are you talking about? For the sperm. I mean, Tom Brady would have been sick, but like, John's your bestie. You know, I didn't want to put you in an awkward position. And plus, after seeing your laptop, I, I didn't think you had any laptops. <laughs> really willing to do it. You, you do that for me? Yeah, we've been friends for 28 years, yes. We just broke into Tom Brady's house and tried to jerk him off. <laughs> you ever Fund the buddies for life. What are you doing? Well, it's what, <laughs> what? what are you doing? Getting ready, dude. What are you getting ready? What are you getting? You, you gotta go in there before. You, you got your hand on your dick. What are you doing? I'm trying to get it half hard, so when I get in there, I can just bust it out. <laughs> Sitting out here in a public jerking off. Yeah, no, don't, don't do that, dude. Now look, you haven't smoked pot for two whole days, right? Yes, I told you, I'm clean. All right, your baby's gonna be fine. All right, I'm sorry. I just don't want something I gotta feed with a pitchfork when he's 16. <laughs> Jesus. John Bennett. I'm John Bennett. She knows. I know. I just said your name. Mm -hmm. Oh, right here. Hey, Johnny, you did it. Right here, buddy. Excuse me, doctor, your wife's on the phone. She said it's an emergency. Oh, God, they're gonna, they're, they're gonna spill a bunch. She's gonna yeah, back into it. Oh, shit. Scoop oh. one into the other. Oh, 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 no. Oh, my God. No. Wait, wait, hang on. I gotta post this on Facebook. No. <laughs> Hashtag invention. Morning, Mr. Dessa. Good morning. Now. <gasps> my name's Donnie. Oh my god, he's dead. For the still Ted in the last one. Oh my, he's back. I replaced the cakes. That's the Donnie difference. <laughs> I need a full report on all the placements <laughs> on merchandise. I'm afraid I have bad news. Hmm. I won't be able to perform the implantation procedure. Tammy Lynn, according to your test results, you're no longer fertile. Forgive me, that's a normal ovary. This is Tammy Lynn's. Mm, damn. When I saw this, I threw up, almost quit medicine. <laughs> well, what do we do now then? I mean, they could just adopt a kid, like. I'm afraid this isn't gonna work out. Oh. Why not? Honestly, it's the more serious one. I was reluctant to bring it up because. What, the fact that Ted's a bear? Ted, in the eyes of the state, you are not a person. Mm. Wait, what? You know, one minute you in Africa washing your clothes in the river, titties out, you good. Then all of a sudden, you somewhere across the world fucking Thomas Jefferson. <laughs> wow, you make history come alive. 
Well, I mean, I've never voted. I don't have a driver's license. I don't pay taxes. I mean, hell, this is a first job. Honestly, if you just started paying taxes, they probably they would probably register you as a person, so. State of Massachusetts regrets to inform you that due to an oversight regarding your legal status, your marriage to Tammy Lynn McCafferty is unrecognized by the state. So they're no longer married anymore. All right, so Ted has to get his citizenship. That's what the movie's about. I mean, we get a lawyer. Mm. Oh my God, can we do that? Can we afford that? <laughs> your case is not gonna be cheap. What is your financial situation? Uh... Holdings are tied up in the railroads. Yeah, Reading Railroad, Beano Railroad, Pennsylvania Railroad. We're working on Short Line. Um, I own Atlantic Avenue in Marvin Gardens. And I own... You're talking about Monopoly? <laughs> my niece recently passed her bar exam and I've hired her on as a junior associate here at the firm. Oh, okay, cool. And then you would get a hungry young attorney, all and right, I would right. get a more experienced lawyer in return. Perfect. Oh, fuck. Hi. You okay? Yeah. His marriage has been annulled. I know, my uncle My uncle gave me all the details. Yeah, I mean, we can't just rush in anything. We gotta make sure we're making the right decisions. Yeah, so. we really appreciate your time, but I think what, what the we're fuck? probably gonna do is just take a seat and get to work. Yeah, now they wanna work with her. Sorry, you don't mind the pot, you? I get migraines. Oh, absolutely, That's me fine. too. Yeah. I'm this is gonna be John's new love interest too. Middle name. Leslie. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> so you're Sam L. Jackson. That's oh, fucking yeah. great, just like Sam L. Jackson. Who is that? <gasps> you ever seen any movie ever? He's the black guy. <laughs> Jesus. I'm gonna try. Sanford, Plessy versus Ferguson, and Brown versus the Board of Education. I got Kramer versus Kramer, Alien versus Predator, <laughs> and Freddy versus Jason. Objection sustained. No, the witness can't object. Overruled. Here, say. They left briefcase. Disregard. In my chamber. This case is gonna go so bad. It's not. I can make this company a billion dollars. Ted is suing for his civil rights. If he loses. The state will officially declare him a non-entity. Improper, and they're going to get him back. That means he becomes property. Yep. Mr. Jessup. We can get him back. We could take him back. And why would we do this? If we could, if we could cut him open. No. To see what makes him tick. We no. We manufacture millions of Ted's for That's, every child in the bro, world. Hasbro. There's nothing that makes, dude, it's, it's literally just magic. When, when Ted's rights are officially null, no one's going to kick up a legal fuss over property. Now, what exactly do you want from this? Mr. Jessup, I'm not interested in money. Should be. With that job. I just want a Ted for my very own. Well, if you could reproduce Ted or whatever, then he would get his own Ted or whatever. Is Ted a human being? Mm. Is this guy who played Howard Stark? Not in the Captain America movie, but, but like this, the other version of Howard. I'm confident you'll make the right decision. Thank you, Mr. Wilde, for your opening statement. Hi. She's going to butcher this. Going to be swayed by smooth talk and a haircut and forget about justice. Mm-hmm. Recognize the just point of view years after the fact. Ms. McCaffrey, you and Ted recently considered adopting a child, is that correct? Yeah. <laughs> if I may inquire, uh, why did you not choose to have a child of your own? Oh god, is gonna make her look bad for her drug addiction? No asshole, he ain't got a dick cause he's a fucking toy. What's your excuse? Oh, mm. take a burn! Shouldn't have admitted to that. You just admitted he's a toy. He's my best friend. So you don't see him as your property? No, he's nope. not my- My parents got him for me when I was a kid. Where did they get him? From the store. For hostility, Mr. Bennett? Why? Nobody here likes you! I saw you <laughs> eating lunch alone! You said your parents purchased Ted. Objection! You can't do that. You know what? This is bu I mean, I think what makes him a person is that he's a sentient being with consciousness now. Animals are sentient beings with a consciousness, but Ted functions like a human, so. He just happens to have the form of a teddy bear. Do you love Tammy Lynn? Mm-hmm. Human emotions. I feel stuff, just like all you guys, and... Capable of love, aware of his own consciousness. Would you please press your chest? Mm. What? Just press it in the wrong spot, like a too high, too below, to the left, to the right, you know? I love you! Mm. Not even press it, just like have your hand there and make it, just fold your fingers, you know, make it look like you're pressing it. Fine for the Commonwealth, in that Ted is not a person. Ah, <sighs> no, he lost. Is hereby legally deemed property. 
I mean, it was pretty obvious they were going to lose. Then Hasbro wouldn't be able to collect them and take them and then cut them open and see what's inside of you know. That storyline would have gone nowhere then, so. You know what we're going to do? Hmm. We're going to call Patrick Megan. Okay. Who's that? You know what? If anyone can get this verdict overturned, it's him. We've become such a high-profile case, I feel like he might take it pro bono. He's a sucker for media. Yeah, great. Okay, mm. thank you. He said he'll meet with us on Friday at 9 a.m. at his office in New York. Perfect. All right, we're going to New York. Nah, Ted's gonna say some dumb shit in their meeting, and then he's gonna be like, nah. Ferguson, Missouri. German Wings cockpit. Okay, I heard Starbucks. No, you didn't. Nobody said Starbucks. <laughs> All right. Bro, he's trying so hard. Where the hell's my coffee? I've been waiting for 10 minutes. I'm so Jesus, you're a waitress. You're not building rockets. Figure it out. What's his problem? I used to pitch for the softball team in Arizona State. Oh, yeah? Was your mascot a broken condom? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Who did that? Oh, he's blind. No. Where at? Look what you did. I swear to God. I nah, he's still an ass. Well, under the circumstances, I guess it's okay. Oh, my God. Now we're even bigger. Yeah. Nah, he's still to the waitress, so. Oh. Good. Mm. What are the fuck me eyes? Yeah, it's some women just have fuck me eyes. Do I have fuck me eyes? Mm. You have give us the ring, my precious eyes. <laughs> Go. Yeah, now she's gonna be in the John. Cause he just got validated in front of her. 20 minutes behind the wheel. Yay! Ooh! Damn, holy shit. Well, Sam, it's been 20 minutes. You want to take over? <laughs> <laughs> well, now we don't have a car anymore. Cause it's just stuck there. On the side of the barn. Spend the night here? Yeah, I'll be fine. We just gotta find some firewood. John, do you even know how to start a fire? I doubt you do. Oh, oh, we found a weed farm, huh? You know what this is? It's super lemon haze. What the hell is a leaf for this stuff doing out in the middle of a... Cause he found, yep. It's a fat ass farm too, huh? Oh my God. Thank God in heaven. Beautiful. Is this Jurassic Park music? <laughs> yeah, this sounds like Jurassic. We just watched that too. They moving in herds. Oh, yep. They do move in herds. Yeah, see, yeah, okay. If I hadn't just watched Jurassic Park, literally, that's literally the movie I just did before this one. I would not have gotten that reference at all. Is this hilarious? I got it at a bachelorette party. Oh my god, it's a dick bong. My cousin has a beer bong that's just a dick on the end. It's super clutch how we're leaving town because Donnie's after Ted now to snatch him up for Hasbro, so... Unless he... Like, he started tracking us before we left and he's followed us out here now. That Kiss. Kiss. Oh, 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 oh! They did it. Alright, you got it. Jesus. Put your legs into it. Oh, yeah, how did that not happen sooner? Was it just kissing last night, or was there finger stuff? Because now you got to get the car. <laughs> okay, well, we got the car out anyway, so whatever. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, whoa. Jesus, whoa. watch where you're going. It's a crosswalk, Jack. That's where you have the right of <laughs> How you do walking around dressed like Star Wars? It's Comic-Con. You're his boss, and you two guys are enemies. Yeah, bite me, Captain Kirk. Hey, hey, whoa, 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 come whoa, on. Whoa, no, that's no, Star no. Trek. Yeah, that's two different friends. Yeah, you can't, don't ever say that again. I know. Nah, it's okay. I'm sorry you have to deal with that. <laughs> oh, hey, come on. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Not worth it. <laughs> what? Miss Jackson, Mr. Megan will see you now. Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> ah, oh, it's Morgan Freeman. <laughs> That's why when she was talking to him on the phone, you couldn't hear his voice at all. That would have gave it away. That would have gave it away right away. Ted, I've been reviewing your file, and while I'm sympathetic to your cause, I'm sorry to say I won't be taking your case. Damn. What? What? Why? What? You could have just told us this over the phone. Like, I've read about your life: mm -hmm. the drugs, the parties, the prostitutes, the arrests. Yeah, it's not a good look. You could have been an inspiration to the world. Could have been a leader. Role. Yeah, if you weren't such a bum. Instead, you're Justin B. <laughs> hey, Ted, what a shot at Justin, dude. You know why he lost this case? Mm -hmm. Fortunately, the public doesn't judge by reason, it judges by emotion. 
because the public doesn't care about Ted. If the if, if Ted was a celebrity and the public loved him, then there would be out, there would be an outrage for him to be registered as a human. So let you guys down all over again. And look, regardless of all this shit, I mean, you're still the best thing that's happened to me in a long time. Great. I'm glad you guys are so happy. What? What do you mean, what? I'm totally screwed here, and you're sitting there basically banging my lawyer. I got no job, no marriage, and no life, but you have fun talking Gollum here while I'm left with shit. Bro, Ted. What? Who's Gollum? Oh, she's a model. <laughs> Ted. <laughs> all right, now this is when Ted's about to get abducted by Donnie. Cause he's all alone now, and Donnie's been following them. So celebrity, I just don't want you to get mobbed when people recognize you. Yeah, that's true. I've been mistaken for an Ewok three times today. <laughs> you can see that. Oh God, Ted's gonna be tripping when he sees him. When he sees his face. Holy shit, Donnie. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's so good to see you, Ted. I have some big plans for you, Ted. I need you to come with me now. Go yeah. to hell. He's after me. You gotta get over here. What the. F did you just say Donnie? Mm -hmm. John, what's what's the matter? Oh my god, deja vu. We gotta get to Comic Con. Come on! Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's the same exact thing as the last movie where. Oh, oh, which one is he? He's the. Oh, fuck, I can't like point it out to you guys. Which one? I love that Neil Diamond. Especially. But I think he's one, two, three, four, five, six. Six in the second row. Six from left to right. Caroline. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, wait, did I actually get that right? Oh, I wish I showed a wide shot of which one he was. The new Superman is Jonah Hill. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> That's what this is from. With Mark Wahlberg screaming that. Dude, I've seen that clip of Mark Wahlberg saying that so many times. They're just gonna do it right here. You son of a! This is kidnapping. No, it's not. You said kidnapping it is. only applies to people. Ah, shut up. Ted, your property. Yeah, so is that f hairpiece. <laughs> <laughs> right there, death to me. Oh, yeah. Flash, we need you. We need Flash Gordon. Come on, we're gonna go get. Hey, Bennett, you messed up my car. What the oh, hell? Oh, that's right. Yeah. Oh, but it's a good time for you to vandalize my Chrysler, though. A Chrysler. <laughs> yeah, it's just a Chrysler, dude. Oh, there was a chicken family guy reference. You cut me open, that's it? I'm gone. Dead? Just a regular We're gonna figure out what makes you real and then we're gonna make millions of It's magic. <laughs> no, it's it's gone. She just got a goal. God, I'm out. Wait, Mr. Dresser, please don't go. Come on, we can still do this, please. You're on your own, Danny. I can't be implicated in any of this. Wait, wait, wait. Who are you? Come on. Mm, he'll be back. Still got what? We still got 20 minutes left. He'll be back. Dude, I just feel bad for Donnie, dude. Right? Mm. I mean, it doesn't matter what the world calls me. I know who I am. Exactly. That's all that's important. <gasps> Ted! His ribs are broken, his kidney's probably not working. Oh my god. It was <laughs> him! Did the guy dress like the Ninja Turtle? It's the one second from life. Yep. Yep. Johnny, come on. Johnny, you gotta wake up, pal. He's not dead. He ate that shit. Dude, he's not dead. Stop. There's no way. John? We have a code blue in room 134. What does that mean? I'm sorry, you're gonna have to wait out. I've seen Grey's Anatomy. Code blue is an emergency. Dude, there's no way John dies. I'm gonna be so pissed if he's actually dead. No, dog, no. You look sad. No, no, no. I'm sorry. No. He didn't make it. Dude, stop. Stop. If you'd like, you can go in and say your goodbyes. Wow. Dude, there's no way he's dead. There's no way. Why would the hospital let... I don't know. Would they do that? Would they let you say... Like, see the dead body? You were my thunder buddy. Oh. My thunder buddy for life. And you gave up... Yeah. Your own life to save mine. Damn. I thought I shed a tear. I don't know how my life works without you. I got you! <laughs> ah! 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 <laughs> 
fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. Class, where <laughs> she's were we? Just... High five. <laughs> What's going? Wait, wait. How was the doctor in on it? Yeah. Paddles. I was totally fine. I talked to him into going along with the bit. What a bro. No problem. We're a fun hospital. <laughs> We're a fun hospital. <laughs> You're gonna have to do a lot better than that. In a relationship with John Ben. Mmm. Perfect. Me and Teddy can totally leave the room. No, 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 honey, honey. They're classy. They're not like us. <laughs> They're good people. I'm happy to see everyone has made a full recovery. Why are you here? He's gonna represent us, huh? What you did on TV. Yeah, yeah. He saved my ass is what he did. Cause he's a person. Ted is real. So you can go fuck yourself. <laughs> I will. <laughs> I'd like to take your case, Ted. Mm-hmm. Cause what John did for him. Well, when I saw what John did for you, he was willing to give his life for yours. Really? Reminded me of why I chose to do the kind of work I do. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry I turned you away. It's okay. I was wrong. It's okay, Morgan Freeman. What defines a person? What defines property? Yeah, shit on Howard Stark in this courtroom right now. An ability to understand complex emotions mm -hmm. and a capacity for empathy. Mm, he's literally God. You can't beat him. We all saw the distressing images of Ted agonizing over his fallen friend, John Bennett. I invite you to change the world. Hmm. Yeah, he's a lot better than Sam. He's a way better lawyer than Sam. Johnny, this is the second time you've made me real. Oh. Again, and soon afterward, they adopted a fine young baby boy. Mm. Johnny, meet your new godson, Apollo Creed Cleveland. <laughs> oh, Teddy, he's a I feel like that does contradict each other, those two names, but. Wait, no, yeah, didn't we? Yeah, Mr. T <laughs> killed Apollo Creed. <laughs> Jesus. All right, well that was Ted 2. All right, well that was Ted 2. All right, that was a pretty solid sequel, honestly. It was better than most sequels. Yeah, it was. I will say though, the jokes in this one, not as good as the first, but the first one is so much to live up to. It would be really hard to match that. I don't know, some of the jokes in this movie kind of just fell flat for me though. Like they didn't even make me like, <laughs> or anything not anything like that i just kind of like yeah but the jokes that did hit were really damn good still and i do like i like the storyline a lot we got we had to fight for ted's human rights i thought that was great for a new storyline while keeping it interesting now there was a, a lot there was a couple similarities with the first movie you know like with donnie and everything but like whatever there wasn't a huge like conflict between john and ted in this one i mean there was brief it, there was but it was super brief so but yeah that was ted too comment down below what you thought about this movie down below in the comments if you like the video like the video and thanks for watching